I'm gonna show you guys a little trick in the car too, a lot of cameras running. Last year, a number of new government studies came out that pointed to put a little piece of it in here, an overall decline in drug abuse. Then you grab a lighter, except for one noted exception. Oh yeah, look what we got. And that's prescription drug abuse. I take Adderall illegally. It does give me a leg up on the competition. Uh, I'm the tutor. That's what they call me, because I get everybody A's. The medical center on campus hands it out like it is candy. I know doctors that I could go to and wind up walking out of there with three different scripts for OCs. The public would be shocked if they knew just how much money people make out here. We're talking about selling Oxycontins at $40 a unit. It's so flagrant and open. Do they care that you're watching them right now? I don't think they even know where. The truth is there probably is no way to resolve it because the uh, economics. There's some 1,200 farmers that are involved in poppy growing, so it's a very important part of the economy. The pharmaceutical industry is about the wealthiest industry in the American economy. Out here on the block, they go up to $40 a piece. If you were going to get them in the pharmacy, they cost 45 Oxycontin is the poster child for a much larger problem. It had devastated certain areas of the country. The FDA has been absent without leave. I went out to the Food and Drug Administration. The AWOL. Asking for tougher, tougher warnings. Asleep at the switch. And they turned us down. OCs are just straight, pure opiate, pure heroin. And Purdue knew that. But this was an aggressive company. They're no different than the drug pusher on the street. This is $1,000 a day business, man. You know, this prescription drug abuse problem that we're having today is nothing new. With, with, with that, that's the end of the story. Time out. That's it.